nature does not make machines like how we make cars. When we make cars, we order parts and then we bring it together. The, the engineers at the end, the technicians put it together. Once everything is together, then they turn it on. It becomes a car and moves out of the assembly line. Nature does not have the luxury. When you have a heart, from beginning you have to pump. In college, we were told that the left ventricle contracted by squeezing itself. But we didn't really know how it happened. The physical mechanism, the pulleys that move the muscle and enable the heart to contract and expand the cavity, we didn't know how that worked. He knew what he wanted and how he had to do it and spent the whole day thinking about it. He even dreamed about it at night and woke up talking about it. I believe he was a genius. His anatomic discovery is, uh, is one of the most phenomenal things that's ever, ever happened in, the, in, in cardiovascular medicine. He put us a road map. Now we basically can identify or connect the function and structure together. So if something wrong with the function, we can go back and look where in the structure we have that failure or deficiency and hopefully come up with it from gene therapy to surgery or to some medications. When this uh, rubber strips uh, shortens, the basal is coming down. I was dumbstruck, dumbstruck because how can he have the nerve to use those contractions when explaining something like that from a mechanical point of view? And that's what he did.